How will you serve the world? You can provide. So the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. out here at nighttime. It is approximately 2053. Just watching the cameras, checking the plant before you go to bed about nine o'clock and T2's rolling over, which makes absolutely no sense. I wasted 30 minutes today. It was low. I know that there was the pushback that needed to happen after the blanket exploded uh, this morning or last night, I guess. And so I knew that the settle was gonna be half of what it really was. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna keep the waste the same. I'm gonna, I'm gonna waste uh, 30 minutes both. And T1 looks fine. T1's blanket looks down there. Uh, but T2 is rolling over. Uh, so I shut off the air, uh, leaving the RAS pumps on, obviously, and uh, shut the flow off. Uh, EQ is still real low. It looks like the float was just about to trip uh, to uh, shut the pumps off. So now I'm draining the filter and just gonna clean up the mess, push it back and start all over. I'll give it about an hour so about 10 o'clock, 10.30 should be enough of a decent amount of pushback to give me till the morning so I don't have to come back in. Morning. So, not a lot of sleep last night, but that's okay. We're learning. And so just a, a quick word to new operators out there who may be um, into this field for the whole time. Um, don't try not to get discouraged. Um, I always say this, but this is a complex biological process that's hard to control, uh, much less understand. Um, let's see, um, quick recap, came in last night, T2 was billowing over, meaning, um, uh, sledge was rising or uh, bulking and not necessarily due to young um, but uh, uh, it seemed as if yesterday that the flow uh, just hadn't stopped all day and I really didn't have that many people in uh, I think it was like 380 people so I should have had a lot more pushback yesterday than I did. Um, pushing back meaning that um, flow stops. Uh, we have our return pumps uh, um, on at about 30 hertz right now, which is about, I don't know, 28 gallons per minute. Pushing flow into the plant 30, uh, to each train, uh, 33 gallons a minute. So uh, a little under 100% uh, return rate. And um, actually I think it's 
let's get back to that. I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to do a test just to update that number um, because as we aren't so fancy that we have um, you know mag meters on our RAS lines and a PLC connected to uh, to uh, um, HMI that uh, tells us. Uh, how much we're returning per day and how much at what rate gallons per minute um, and that fluctuates so got it back I turned off the air turned off the flow for an hour and uh, let it push back and then restarted flow restarted air restarted air with blower number one due to the fact that it looked uh, the effluent looked hazy and but the flock formation and the settle was nice so uh, what we've learned in the last year or so is that that's usually due to air. I am getting uh, 0.2 and 0.3 DO on each train uh, and it's riding there pretty much most of the day. What I wanted to show you was uh, <coughs> foam tells a story. Now it's not a hundred percent indicator, but foam does tell a story. Okay, so if you look at this, and I'm going to compare this to the sets when we when we do them, is uh, this is what the plants look like in action, right? So over here, this is T1. And, and we have a light, fluffy foam. And then this is T2, and this is a dark, uh, you know, it's it's crusty, so it's been, it's been a so little bit old. So now you see how right here the set is changing, right? So yesterday, T2, which is on the right, and, and T1 is on the left, T2 dropped really, really fast because all the solids were built up in the clarifier and weren't returning back because the blanket had popped so you you have to watch out for these things and you can't believe the set every time even if you pull multiple sets throughout the day you have to see other angles of the plant and where the solids build the fish to get a good view something for your mind 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 something for your mind mind